We're going to create a blog that looks like this using Ghost. If you haven't signed up for a Ghost account, you can get a 14 day free trial by going to ghost.org or by using the link in the description below. From the homepage, click on Get Started, enter your name, email, and select the password. Enter the name of your website or blog. Here you need to enter a credit card, but don't worry, you're not going to be charged anything. This is more to prevent abuse. As you can see right here, you will not be auto charged after your trial. So fill this out and click on Start Free Trial. After you've created your account, you're going to come to a page that looks like this. And honestly, I think Ghost does a good job of onboarding new customers. And so if you want to create your website, a good way to get started is just to follow these steps right here. And so that's what we're going to do. We're going to click on customize your design. The first thing you want to do is update the site description. This is the first thing people are going to see when they land on your homepage. Then update the accent color. This is going to update, at least on the screen right now, the three subscribe buttons. Then update the publication icon. This is the favicon that's going to show up at the top of your browser window. Then add your logo. You can see that updated at the top of the screen. And then I don't like this gradient of purple and pink. We're going to add an image here. Update cover, choose an image. And that actually looks pretty good right now. But if you want to change anything, you can hover over, click the pencil icon, and they give you a bunch of options here to crop, filter, fine tune, and more. Maybe I'll add one of their filters. Maybe I'll use their cold filter. When done, click on save and close. Then at the bottom, you can change the theme. The default theme is source, but you have a bunch of other free themes to choose from. There's paid themes also available from Ghost, and you can buy themes from third parties. So there's lots of options to choose from here. I'm happy with this theme, so I'm just gonna click off and we'll continue designing the website. So we went through the entire brand tab. Now let's look at the site-wide options. This video is sponsored by Porkbun.com, the best domain registrar according to USA Today and our top domain registrar this year. For a dollar off the purchase of a new domain or off the transfer of your domain to Porkbun, use the link below or enter the code thefigco24 at checkout. The first option you have is the navigation layout. So where would you like the logo? In the middle, on the left, or stacked? Here's what it looks like on the left. Here's what it looks like stacked. I think I prefer the logo on the left. Then do you want the header and footer to be the background color or the accent color we chose a second ago? Then you can customize the title font and the body font. There's only a couple of options here. You can actually customize it further. If you want to know more about that, write font down below in the comments. Then we have sign up heading and subheading. That's the text right here in the footer. Why don't we change that to weekly YouTube tips to grow your business? and sign up if you want your business to take off. And why not add a rocket emoji to the end of it? Now let's move over to the homepage design. One thing to keep in mind here, depending on the theme you choose, you're gonna have different options in terms of what you can customize in terms of the design. If you choose source, you're gonna have everything that we see in this video. Okay, so header style. We have landing, highlight, magazine, search, or off. Here's what those are gonna look like. So for search, it's gonna replace the subscribe box for search. You have magazine and highlight that are going to highlight your articles or just turn it off and have the articles listed that you can see right here. I like the landing option. Here you can update the header text. So where it says grow your business with YouTube. If you don't want to use that, something that we wrote on the brand tab, you can update that here. If you want something more plain, you can get rid of the background image. Then you can customize the post feed style. So you have list or grid. You can decide to show images or not, the author or not, publication date or not. And you could also add this publication info sidebar if you'd like. And then for your blog post articles, you have just a couple of options. The show post metadata, enable drop caps on post, and then show related articles. Let's save all the design changes. Now, why don't we create an additional page for the website? So with Ghost, you have pages and posts. So posts are blog posts. Pages are static pages for your website. Right now, we're going to create a page listing my YouTube channels. Here, click on new page. Give the page a title. Then to get started, you have this plus icon on the left-hand side, or if you just hit slash, you'll get the same drop-down menu of everything you can add to the page. If you ever wanna add a heading, you can do so very easily by just typing the number sign. If it's one number sign, and then space would be an H1 tag, two number signs, H2, three number signs, H3, etc. So we're gonna add an H2 tag for the names of my YouTube channels. The first one is the Figco, this channel. Then why don't we add a YouTube video from the channel? We can easily add a YouTube video by typing slash, selecting YouTube, and then copying and pasting the video URL. Write a short description of the channel. Then why don't we add a button to take someone to view the YouTube channel? To add a button, type slash, 
select button, then enter the button text, the button URL, and then also you can align the button either centered or along the left. I think I like centered more. Then why don't we add a divider, then add a second channel like we just did for the first, and then another divider, and then the third channel. And I think that looks pretty good. Now there's a few customizations I wanna show you. You wanna click on this icon at the top right hand corner of the page. You can update the page URL. So maybe instead of my-youtube-channels, I just want it to be youtube-channels. You can edit the publication date, add tags, choose who has access to the page, write an excerpt, the author, and a few other options down below. If you're done editing the page and you're ready to publish it, you can do that by clicking here. Once you do that, you'll have the option to publish it now, or you can choose a date in the future to publish the new page. Then click on continue to final review and publish page right now. And then boom, it's out there. Your page is published. You can copy the URL, share it with someone if you need to. We're gonna keep building the website. This new page we created, why don't we add it to the navigation menu? To do that, you wanna click on settings and then scroll down to navigation. And then here we have the primary navigation, which has the homepage about, and then here we can enter the label. So my YouTube channel, and then the URL, which would be slash YouTube dash channel. And if we close the settings and then click on view site, and you can see it's now been added to the navigation menu. Let's now connect the custom domain to our ghost website. We purchased all of our domains from Porkmon. A .com domain costs $11.06. And if you use our link below or the code thefitco24 at checkout, you can get a dollar off the first year. Your domain purchase with Porkbun includes who is privacy protection, an SSL certificate, DNS management, web and email hosting trials, and amazing customer service by phone or email 365 days a year. With other domain registrars, you could pay up to twice as much for your domain, and in some cases, another nine to $15 per year for privacy protection. If you need a domain or wanna transfer your domain to Porkbun, to save a dollar off the first year, don't forget to use the code thefigco24 at checkout. Now, why don't we connect the custom domain? To do that, click on Ghost Pro. The first thing you're gonna see is the billing. Don't worry, you don't need to do anything here right now. You have the free trial for 14 days, but these are the different options available. Then the next tab is the domain, click there. Here's where you can also customize your free Ghost subdomain, but what we want here is to click on set up custom domain. Enter the domain you'd like to connect. We're gonna connect www.jjthalen.com. The next thing you'll need to do is to update the DNS records wherever you purchased your domain. In our case, Porkbun. With Porkbun, click on DNS. The first record was a CNAME record, so change it from A record to CNAME. Type in www for the host, then copy this value and paste it as the answer and click on add. Then the next thing is to add an A record. We'll copy the value, then change it from CNAME to A record. For Porkbun, instead of putting the at symbol for host, you just leave it blank and then paste in the answer. Then the next thing we need to do is to add this A record. You can scroll down and see both have been added. And then down below, click on activate. It may take a couple minutes, so maybe go get a coffee, take a walk around the block, come back and in just a few minutes, your website will be live at your custom domain. Once everything's connected properly, it's gonna update here. You have the URL and then along the side, it says active. If you wanna just double check that everything's working, you can open up a new browser tab, type in the URL, click enter. And as you can see here, we have our ghost website now being hosted at jjthalen.com. Why don't we quickly run through what you see on the left-hand side? So dashboard is what's giving us the steps to create the website, view site, shows our site, explore, shows a bunch of other websites built with Ghost. And then we have post, probably one of the more important things if you chose to use Ghost to build your blog is actually create blog post articles. So under post, you have drafts, scheduled and published. Here you see the coming soon article that was there from the beginning. Why don't we first just get rid of that? To do that, click on the article, and then you can unpublish it as one step if you don't want something to be public anymore. But if you wanna delete it, click on this icon here, scroll to the bottom, click on delete, and there you go, the article's been deleted. Then to create a new one, you can click on the plus icon here. Here you can click on write a new post or a new post in the top right-hand corner. Give the post a title. And then as you're gonna see here, creating a post is basically the exact same as creating a page that we did just a second ago. But there's a few additional things that I wanna show you. Why don't we write a quick introduction? Also up above, you can add a feature image. Why don't we add this one? Why don't we make the title a little longer? Because I wanna show you something in the settings in just a minute. 
we can insert a YouTube video. Then down below the video, why don't I add an H2 tag, which will have the type of video idea, and then write a little description of what the idea is. If we were happy with the article and want to publish it, before we actually go and publish it though, there's a few things I want to show you. If you click on the icon, the first thing is the post URL. I have this really long title that you saw me create a second ago. I wouldn't want that for the URL though, so I'd want to shorten it to something like YouTube-video-ideas. Again, you can change the date of publication, tags, post access, excerpt, author, and more down below. After you click publish, you have a couple of different options. We don't have all of them activated right now. If we click here, you can see there's three options to publish and email, publish only, or email only. We don't have any members to our newsletter, so two of the options are currently grayed out. And then down below, it gives us the option to publish it right now or choose a date and time for when we want to publish this article. Then click on continue, final review, and then publish post right now. And our first blog post article is now live. Here's the URL for it if we want to share it. Another thing you may want to add to your post is a photo of the author, probably you in this case. To do that, click in the bottom left hand corner and then click on your profile. And then here, click on this little icon and add a profile image. Here's where it'll show up on your articles. One other great thing with Ghost, you can decide who to share your articles with. You can have someone subscribe or you can actually have them be a paid subscriber to be able to view your content. Let me show you how to create different subscription tiers. To update that, click on settings. Then here down below, you see membership. The first thing is portal settings. Let's customize that. Then we have three options. We have sign up options, look and feel, and account page. The sign up, I think looks pretty good. We click on look and feel. That's for this little button in the bottom right hand corner. Right now it's icon and text. We could just change that to just text if we wanted. Text only looks like that. And then we can update the text if we want to say something like sign up instead of subscribe. Also, we can get rid of the button if we wanted to. Account page just shows the support email address. And then here we have sign up, the account page. So here's what someone's account looks like and all the links. Let's save, close out of this and then the access. So let's click on edit. And so subscription access, anyone can sign up. Default post access, public, commenting, who would you like to be able to comment on the articles? Scrolling down further, we have tiers. So if you wanna have free and or paid tiers, you can create that here. Right now there's only a free tier. If you wanna add paid tiers, you need to connect a Stripe account. Once you follow the steps to connect a Stripe account, it auto creates the first paid tier at $5 per month. It gives it just the name of the site. Why don't we change that to silver? And then we could add another tier, like maybe a gold tier. Write a little description. This being there's premium content and there'd be weekly calls, we should probably charge more. So maybe $29 per month. You could add a free trial if you wanted. I'm not gonna offer that. And then down below, you could list out the benefits as well, just to give it a little more detail. If you're happy with that, click on save. Oops, I guess I needed to add both a monthly as well as annual pricing. Why don't we make it 300 bucks for the year? And let's try to save again. Now we have our free silver and gold tiers. Now that the tiers are set up, I'm gonna show you how you can separate the content between what someone can view who hasn't subscribed to either a subscriber or a paid subscriber. To do that, go back to the post, then find a point in the article where anything above it, you're happy sharing publicly with anyone who views the page, and then below what you wanna keep for your subscribers. To add this breakpoint, essentially, you wanna click on slash, you have the dropdown of everything, and then you'll find public preview. Once you select it, you'll see this line separating what's public and what's gonna be only visible to members. Then if you wanna select who can actually view beyond that point, click on the icon along the right, and then here you see post access. So public, everybody, members only, would anyone who subscribed, paid members only, so we have the silver or gold tier, so both of them would be able to view, or we can click on specific tier or tier. Let's go with that option. Then here it gives us both silver and gold. If I wanted only available to gold, I could get rid of silver and then update the article. And then along the right hand side, I can click on view post. You can see here that I can't read the entire article now. It says this post is for subscribers on the gold tier only. I can click on subscribe now. And then it looks like the subscribe option hasn't been updated with the gold tier. So why don't we go back in the settings and make that change. Go to settings. Scroll down to membership and then into custom customize the portal. So we have sign up options 
And here it's only selected free silver and gold. Now the gold option is there. If we didn't want any free subscribers, we could just get rid of that. And we could change it from offering monthly and yearly to just offering monthly. Then we'll save that. Now let's refresh the page. Scroll down, click on subscribe now. And then we just have the two options that we selected, silver or gold. And also there's no toggle between monthly and annually. Why don't we quickly run through all the other options. Here in the bottom left corner, if you're tired of light mode, you can always go to dark mode. I usually prefer this, so we'll change that. And then we can just go through the different options or the, the sequence that Ghost laid out for us. So the editor, we've obviously already used. There's nothing that we need to go through there. Back to the dashboard, build your audience. So the first thing you may wanna add yourself to the audience so you're getting the emails that are being sent out to make sure nothing goes wrong. There we go, we have our first subscriber. If you wanna share the website, you can click here. It's strange, I don't know why it's not adding our custom domain, it has our ghost URL. If it's gonna be more than just you creating content, you can click on staff here and then invite people. And you see there's an option for a contributor, author, editor, or administrator. You can add their email and send an invite. You can add an announcement bar. If there's any integrations you wanna add, you do that here. You can add custom code injections. And at the very end, if you wanna delete all of your content, that's the very bottom of the settings. One last thing before you go and share this with the world, I would recommend viewing the website on a computer, tablet, and phone, and just make sure everything's being displayed properly. Ghost is a great platform if you're focusing on publishing content, but if you're looking to sell a product or service, or you wanna be able to more easily customize the design of your website, you may wanna check out this video right here that goes through our favorite website builders this year. And I hope to see you in another video. Bye-bye.